I developed my uh, work ethic uh, working on the farm where we had lots of chores before and after school. I wanted to uh, become an entrepreneur. I had no idea uh, what it meant or how to spell it, but I knew I wanted to uh, do something. Abby Halliday Realtors was founded on principles uh, of service. Service to the client, service to the association itself, and service to the um, communities in which we are involved. We were very, very fortunate in that um, good people uh, came uh, to us. I would tell them to sit across the desk and listen to me and go with me and they would learn a, a lot about the business. Now when I came on board there were three offices and 35 agents and so and I've been listening to her I heard her negotiate with people and do things and it's kind of subliminal how much you learn with that and I said Abby we're selling a lot of properties in Richardson Texas and Mary Frances came to me and said, um, now I will stay as your secretary if you want me to, but I would like the opportunity uh, to um, uh, go to Richardson and help open that office. I had peeked over the garden wall and I saw that there was a life that women can make money, be independent and do very well. And I said, Mary Frances, I would just hate to lose you, but I know that you have the capacity to grow in this business, and I want you to go to Richardson. When I went to Richardson, we talked quite a bit, um, but basically, she had, she had really trained me, and she trusted me. She had a good work ethic and she had all of the skills, and she handled uh, uh, people well. If you look at the map, you can see that we have done it progressively with where the market is. And I spent a lot of time driving around, checking the marketplace, seeing where the retail strips had gone in, seeing where the builders were building houses, checking to see where the employers were and how many was hired. I brought the, the concept of computer back, but Mary Frances is the one that understood it and that really uh, developed it. So we did some studies, two or three of us, about the software that was available. And I started going to national meetings with a couple of years after that, and I would hear other people. I would go to seminars and symposiums and forums and talk to people about what was going on. We started our uh, website in 96, it is absolutely wonderful. It's one of the best marketing tools ever. I have people walk up to me who are friends and just say, I want to know about the house on so and so. And I say, just go to abby.com, type in the address, and it will come up and tell you about the property. All of the things that uh, I had been doing, uh, she uh, did better. And uh, including, uh, perhaps, the association work. We need to give back to our community, give back to our association, and we think it's very, very important. And Abby has set the pace, so we encourage that. Which, with the uh, wonderful uh, help that, and executives that have been developed under her guidance and, and, and with my uh, approval, uh, it is not has never been a one-person company. It has been truly a team effort. The uh, Ebby Holiday family has grown a lot. In uh, the 50th anniversary year, June of 1995, we acquired the Ellen Terry firm. And in May of this year, we acquired the Dave Perry Miller & Associates firm. We also have Home Team Mortgage, which is 11 years old. We wanted our clients to 
have the best service possible for the loan officer. We didn't have an insurance agency. So we, we're trying to make the process as smooth, as seamless, as effortless as we can for our associates and therefore for our buyers and sellers. It's very important. So we think that this is a great team. And Mary Frances is a great captain of that team. And uh, she is my choice to take us on at eight, since I'm 96 years of age, I hope to be here at least for the uh, Super Bowl in, 19, in 2011. But uh, Mary Frances is capable of, of carrying this company on with a wonderful structure of uh, people. we've seen a lot of changes. The one thing that's always remained stable is this company. And we have a lot of people who have 25-year pens for this company, which says a lot. And if we had 15-year pens, there are a lot of other people too. So it tells you that Abby has been a Pied Piper, as she was for me, for many, many years. And so people come and they stay. Uh, we're a rather large family, but we like each other. We like the business. We like what we do. And Abby has left an imprint on all of us, which will continue. And long after Abby's gone and long after I'm gone, we continue because we are trying to put people in place who have the same work ethic, the same business ethic, and code of ethics that we do, who will continue giving service to the clients and service to the industry and service to the community. We have to continue growing and doing and spending our time, our effort, and our money, uh, which all this costs a lot of time and effort and money, so we want to continue doing that so that we are sure that we're doing just the right thing. We're very much aware of our obligation to our associates, to our staff, and to our community and our clients. And so the best is yet to be, we're going to make sure that we're there working hard for it and keeping Abby's name at the forefront.